Let us say amen. 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 Brother, it's, it's walks of hatchet. <laughs> if you can't say that, just say hatchet. hatchet. I'm trying to keep you out of trouble. When I, one of the things they wanted to know is could I pronounce walks of hatchet? <laughs> and Brother Ken Allison came and I warned him. I said, before you come here to do this meeting, you got to pass the test. He said, what's the test? I said, can you say walks of hatchet? And he kept saying wax a hatchet. I said, can he? Just say hatchet. We're trying to keep you out of trouble. But God is good. And he's good. All, no, it's not just you. And he's good all the time. And all the time, God is good. We've had some good preaching, have we not? Amen. These brothers have uh, uh, really, as the old preachers say, shell the corn. Uh, uh, and my lesson. Women learning in silence or leading in worship. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to hear from the NOW, the ACLU. But like one brother said, he got a gas uh, full of tank. His tank is full of gas. And I'm not running from nobody. I'm just going to tell it like it is. I want to. Introduce to everybody, some of you don't know, but my lovely wife, Linda, just raise your hand. Amen. Amen. It's because of her that I learned about the Church of Christ. We have two lovely daughters, and in Texas, we can carry our guns. Amen. <laughs> I want to thank Brother Clay Wiggs and those who uh, expressed the confidence in me to let me uh, speak on this lectureship, there are so many other preachers who could have stood here in my presence, and I just want to thank him and the, the lectureship committee for allowing me to feel like old home week. Some of the brothers from California are here, uh, Brother Moultrie, Brother Minor, and I would say Brother Kenny Johnson, but he's a cowboy fan. I said I was going to call ahead, and they weren't going to let him back in the state of California, but I, I forgive him. And, Brother Allison is a transplant himself, right. amen, but he likes to raise us, so uh, he's all right with me. We want to look at 1 Timothy, the second chapter, beginning at verse number 8. Paul writes, I desire, therefore, that the men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubt. In like manner also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with propriety and moderation, not with braided hair or gold pearls or costly clothing, but which is proper for women professing godliness with good works. Let a woman learn in silence with all submission. <clears throat> now do not permit a woman to teach or to have authority over a man, but to be in silence. For Adam was formed first and Eve. Yeah. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived fell in to transgression. Yeah. Nevertheless, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith, love, and holiness with self-control. Women, learning in silence or leading in worship. The other word here that Paul uses in verse 8. It's a near, and it means a man. It doesn't mean uh, a mankind as anthropos. It means a fellow, a husband, a man, or son. I know a lot of things are going on in society, and some people are mixed up about their roles. Men are marrying men, and I wonder when they do that, I wonder which one becomes the wife, because they're still men. I'm just asking a question here. Uh, two women are getting married, and they're both women. And I'm still wondering which one's going to assume the duty of being a man. Now, there's a sister at, at Grand Street. She said, preacher, don't get messy. I'm going to have to get messy up in here, because I'm just asking a question. A man is a man. I don't care what he does. A woman is a woman. Uh, am I right about it? She may cut her hair and grow a mustache, and she's still a woman. He may put a dress on in a wig, but he's still a man. That's why I'm just asking a question. Amen. Paul is restricting this thing of 
some praying to me. You see, you have to be careful when you hang out with Brother Clay. Because he took me somewhere. And, 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 and the preacher got up and he began to pray. And he held his hands up. And his members got up, including the women. And they held their hands up. Now, he said men with holy, hand, holy hands ought to lift their hands up. What he's talking about is the person who was to lead the prayer. What we need to understand was a man. Now, I know some are advocating that sisters ought to, sister might get up and she might pray better than you. But Paul said, and, and the word I desire is not a good translation. What he is saying is, I demand or I command that only men lead prayer in the public worship. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, know, I know that ain't uh, all that uh, uh, popular. But the truth will set you free. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, uh, amen. Uh, see, Paul here restricted the offering of public prayer and Christian assembly to men as distinguished from a woman. And this is fully in keeping with the teachings of the New Testament elsewhere and with the general practice of the Church of Christ for centuries. I don't know what's wrong with us in the 21st century. It's like we fell down and hit our head. We just lost our minds up in here. The fact that present social attitude may be opposed to what is taught cannot be possibly of any permanent importance. It doesn't matter what people are teaching today. It only matters what thus says the Lord. And, and, and I'm here to tell you, we're not anti-sisters. I heard a preacher say that if he went to a congregation and was only brothers, his first sermon would be his last sermon. Amen. We love sisters. We're not anti-sisters. We're not anti-women. Am I right about it? We're just telling the truth. And, 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 and that's the truth. Now some folk don't, you might stone me. That's all right. But Stephen said that Jesus loved good preaching. He said he saw Jesus standing. So he, uh, I'm just going to tell you the truth. You see, in, in this current era, society has generated into a very permissive attitude toward every kind of immorality, violence and crime. And in such a social climate, there will be, will they be uh, uh, more and more individuals and in even churches who will reject the teachings of the apostles and proceed to do as they please. There are some places, brothers and sisters, who have Church of Christ in the front but they're not Church of Christ on the inside. They just need to take the name down and give us our name back. If you don't want to do what the church says to do, then stop wearing the name. You see, the word men is in contrast to women. In other words, a woman can't be a preacher, or an elder, or a deacon. Amen. Paul said, let a woman learn in silence with all submission. In other words, we need to have some common sense when we go to God's word. Does this mean that a, woman, a sister can't say amen? That don't, that's not what it means. Does it mean that a sister can't get up and repent? That's not what it means. After all, Brother Mochi, she is commanded to sing. Am I right about it? So what does this mean? It means that she cannot usurp the authority over a man in the public worship. That's what it means. Come on, preacher. See, there is no requirement of silence imposed in the worship of God. The quietness in view here is the due acceptance of authority and respect of God's rule of prohibiting women from taking over the public worship and a quiet acceptance of their womanly role as childbearers and mothers of the human race. Certainly, in the asking of the question in dialogue teaching situations and in such things as singing or responsive readings, women do not violate the, this passage by their participation in such things. She is to learn in silence. She is not the Lord over a man. This duty concerns herself. She is to be a learner 
not a teacher. Right. She is to give all devoted attention to the public instruction so as to learn more and more about Christ and his gospel. And if what she heard was either difficult or doubtful, she was to ask her husband not doing worship, not in a parking lot, but at home. And if her husband ain't all that smart, She ain't supposed to out it. You got somebody at the congregation you can ask. Am I right about it? You see, I'm just giving you what the book says. Amen. You see, you can tell sometimes when a sister don't agree with what the preacher say. Because the elbow shoot out and the husband's head turn around and she wants to ask, while the brother's preaching. And the first word is out of her mouth is, I don't agree, or I think he's wrong. And she ain't got a Bible open. Sit down, be quiet, and learn from it. Some brothers need to do that too. Maybe they can ask a question or two. I'm going to write about it. You see, she is not the Lord over a man. As teaching or preaching is the act of those in authority. Her assumption of dysfunction would imply lordship over her husband. Husband and wife are heirs together of the grace of life. Well. But the gospel has not exalted a woman to the position of authority over her husband. Even if you both are married and she becomes a member of the church, she still can't lord over him. Well, Tell you, the reason why I know about the church of Christ is because of my wife. We were courting. We didn't date. We were courting. Amen. And she was in Dallas. And I was in California. And she she said, don't, 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 don't call me at these certain times. Well, why not? She said, I'm at church. And I go back to night service. And I'm scratching my head. What is so big about night service? Well, you know, where I grew up in, you went once a week. Yeah. You was all right. You were all right. Yeah. And then she say, Wednesday night, I go to Bible study. Now I'm scratching my head with both hands. I had hair back then. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to find out about this thing. What makes a person want to do this? Yeah. Go ahead, preach. Hey, Amen. Oh, it's because of her hey. that I learned about the church of Christ. So, sisters, there are some things that you can do. You can teach a hard-headed man about the church of Christ by the life that you live. You don't need a pulpit for that. You need a lifestyle for that. You know, I, 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 I messed around and I got baptized. That's right. Amen. So, sisters, there's very important work for you to do. We're not talking about in the kitchen and this and that. It's things that sisters can do to advance the cause of Christ. You see, he says, let your women keep silent in the churches. For they are not permitted to speak. They are to be submissive as the law also says. What are you talking about, Paul? Well, there were some women who were endowed with the ability to speak in tongues. And they were jumping up in Corinth, speaking out of turn, doing the worship service. Paul had to deal with this thing. He said, that's not how it ought to be. Sit down and be quiet. Matter of fact, all men couldn't jump up and speak in tongues. He said that if there were not two or three people who can uh, what's the word? interpret it, he said, sit down and be quiet. In other words, uh, 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 this is not just, you know, you got to take this thing the way it's meant. You see, the command was given, and Paul refers back to the account of Genesis. He said, Adam was formed first. Yeah. Yeah. And that what he said, Adam was formed first, and then Eve was formed. 
How was she formed? Well, God caused a deep sleep in Adam, took out a rib, and made Eve. Am I right about it? But then he goes on to say, Adam wasn't deceived. Spirit. Adam wasn't deceived. Eve was. Am I right about it? And so, uh, there, there, is, there is supposed to be and I use the word supposed to be order in the Lord's church. Yes, right. Now some, some, some don't want to do that. Some, some, you know, that brother might be giving a lot, so we're going to let his wife. Amen, I mean, that's not how it's supposed to be. Amen. I, I, I'm just telling you the truth. If we don't stand, I've heard, I've always heard that if a man don't stand for something, the fall for him. We have to stand for the truth. But if we don't, God will move us out of the way and put somebody else there that's going to do that. If we act like we afraid. Well, Jesus said, don't fear the man. Don't fear, the, don't fear a man who can kill your body. Fear God who can kill your body. By what? Put your body in you. So how? By putting you in hell. By just not doing what he says to do. Church, you know, it's, I, I, I find that it's easy to do what God says to do. And in most cases, you need help to miss what God says to do. And we deal with things that God hasn't said to do. God, well, God didn't say not to do this. Well, when God said to, to, to do this this way, does he have to tell you the other 99 ways not to do it? <laughs> Kenan talked about the switch cutting there. If your parents told you not to go outside of the front yard, just to stay in the front yard, uh -huh. did they have to tell you to stay out of the streets? If they did, if you had any sense, they only had to tell you more than once after they told you up. I know what people are thinking. There were some exceptions to the rules, but only to a certain extent. Miriam was a prophetess. The sister of Aaron took her timbre in her hand, and all the women went out after her. Did you, did you hear what I said? They said all the women went out after her. But you know what? She did not speak publicly in worship. Deborah was a prophet. Made me ashamed when I read Judges, the fourth chapter and the fifth chapter. Could not find a man with backbone. She had to coax Barak into doing what he was supposed to do. But you know what? She did not speak publicly in worship. He'll kill the priest when he found the book and took it to Josiah. They sent a delegation to the temple. Hold all the prophetess, spoke to them. But you know what? She did not speak in public worship. Clearly, these women had some spiritual gifts. And we're not trying to hold a sister down who had, had some spiritual gifts. Is the New Testament any different? That Anna was a prophetess, the daughter of Phineas, who departed not from the temple and spake of him, Christ, to all them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem, but for the life of me, I cannot find any instance when a sister spoke in the public worship. Come on, bro. Yep. Bro. Peter said, on the day of Pentecost, your sons and daughters shall prophesy. I have no problem with that. The problem is she couldn't do it doing the public worship. I look the word up, prophet. Prophet means by analogy, an inspired speaker. But prophet is, it stops. It says it's an inspired woman. Now there's a difference between being an inspired woman and an inspired speaker. Got kind of quiet. Peter said, if any woman speak, thank 
Somebody said something. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which God given him. Let me look at this. Man is a man. Him is a man. Well, well. Is that what your Bible says? Even the New King James says, if anyone speaks, keep reading. It says, let him. Yeah. Well, how can I dress that up? Well, if all the sisters went out, and if I said, if anyone, who am I talking to? All the brothers. Well, you know, I got glasses on. I can't read that. <laughs> <laughs> See? sister cannot be an evangelist. Why? Because an evangelist and so oftentimes must rebuke with all authority. All right. The very thing that the inspired apostles forbid her to do. But women who are faithful Christians can certainly teach Bible class. Well, yes, sir. Come on. You just can't do it publicly. Well, yes, you see, I know there are things Reject. that our sisters want to do. But a sister can't be an elder. Well, let's look at it. They say this is a faithful saying. If a man oh, desired the position of a bishop, oh, he desired a good bread. Another qualification, Moultrie, yeah. is he must be the husband <laughs> of one wife. Come on now, stop. Well, <laughs> well, amen. And you see, <laughs> we were in the back. You know, they say whatever happened in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas. Well, yeah. well I'm here to tell you that there's an all seeing eye watching you. I'm not talking about going to a casino. We had a lecture ship. And a brother got up. Y'all want to know who it was? <laughs> I'm on tape. Rick Hunter. Well, all right. Said the Church of Christ needs to stop keeping women down. That we ought to let them be elders. And I said, we're asking one question. Can she meet all the qualifications? Okay. Is she, can she be the husband of one wife? <laughs> Ask him that, that's all. But I don't even know. And you know, there came, you know, there was a great silence because you know why? She cannot meet that qualification. Before he even gets into it, he uses the word, if a man. Yes, Man has to rule his own house. Sister's not supposed to rule the house. Now she may run the day-to-day -day operation. Amen. Amen. Now there's a difference between letting her run the day-to-day -day operations and ruling your house. Got something doing them both. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And shame on the brother. I read somewhere that if a man don't provide for his family, he's worse than an infidel. And he don't need to be working in the Lord's house? No way. Man, you see, you see. A better word for the word uh, 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 silence is quietness. She needs to have a quiet spirit. And you know what? A sister who is truly a member of the Lord's church don't mind her husband leading her if he's leading her the right way. You see, the story about the rich man in Lazarus. That man was in hell burning up. And he was trying to get his family some help. Oh, yeah. and, 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 and Abraham said, I'm not sending a dead man. He said, if they do not hear Moses <coughs> and the prophets. What's a prophet? A prophet was an inspired speaker for God. He was a man who preached for God. We take it to the New Testament. The New Testament word is preacher, evangelist. It is a man's job. It was, brother, you know what? I, I, I don't know. Uh, 
if you got a problem with that, ask God on judgment day. But I don't think you're going to like what he has to say. You better get your head wrapped around it now and don't poke your lip out. Amen. Eve fell into transgression. She, 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 she saw that fruit. It had to be a whole bunch of trees in the garden. How come you didn't get to walk around and go the other way? But see, that one tree, and it caused her a downfall. You know God, you don't want to mess with God. God punished everybody. He told Eve, I'm going to multiply your birth, your child, your pain in childbearing. But your desire is going to be the other. What does that yeah. mean? Yeah. She could be in that hospital room, crying out loud, looking at him, say, don't you ever touch me again. Yeah. The next thing you know, they have twins. <laughs> Told the man, you're going to have to work hard. And you're not going to get a good return. Well, there are roles. There are roles for each and every member of the Lord's church. Yeah, yeah. We just need to find out what our talent Every man, every brother can't preach. Every brother can't be a song leader. Amen. I can't. You know what? When I get up here and say I can't sing, my wife uses the first one to say amen. She said the loud. I'm not a song leader. Well, and every brother can't do that. Sisters just can't preach. Well, but I heard that Sister Allison preached a little while ago. Well, but she just wasn't in here. She was with the sisters. Have you ever upset your wife? She preached to you, didn't she? Am I right about it? You heard a whole sermon. And you sat there and learned the silence, but you know what? You wasn't at the church. <laughs> Say amen. We just need to do what God says to do. The way he says to do. If you were I and you saw a million dollars, you know what? All you'd be able to do is look at it. Because you wouldn't have a hand to pick it up, well, or a foot, to walk over to it. What's your point? Paul was saying, we can't look down on any part of the spiritual body because we all play a part. If you think your big toe don't help you, what did they used to do to kings when they called them in the Old Testament? Cut off their thumbs and their big toes. Why? Because they couldn't run after you and they couldn't rip a sword. We all have a role to play. Amen. We just need to play that role Amen. to the glory right, of God. God bless you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.